Chelsea are going to take on Borussia Dortmund at Soldier Field in Chicago for a preseason friendly. I mean, you've got the skyline behind you. I mean, yeah. it's a pretty exciting time. It's going to be great. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's great. I mean, it's very important for the club that we continue to come out to America, you know, because it's important that the club grows. It's We love the players. I can speak for myself, but I'm sure the players are the same. They love coming out here on pre-season tour because you get good competitive games in a good environment. The fans come out and the lads absolutely love the pre-season tours. And I think it's mutual. I, I've seen the... We, you see the smiles on the faces of the fans because it's, it's so big out here now, isn't it? Like the... The people love the Premier League. So, so it's, it's a win-win for everyone. And, and we're really excited. Playing against Borussia Dortmund on, on August the 2nd, I, I believe it may be the last game of the tour, the one that sets the tone for the season. So, you know, if anyone wants to come and check out what, where the Chelsea, how they're looking for next season, which is a huge season in, in the club's history because they need to bounce back, that's the, that, that will be it. You'll start to see the shape and the forming of what the team will look like. So it's going to, it's, it's exciting. Yeah, no, that's a really good point. It's the end of the preseason. As you mentioned, Chelsea, obviously, and we're going to get into it, everybody, I promise, about, you know, what they need to do in order to climb back, uh, get back to, to where they believe they, they belong next season as well. And obviously, Joe, with an American co-owner as well, it's important to, you know, take, uh, you know, uh, representation and, uh, and take challenge of, of the U.S. market. I wanted to ask yeah. you, actually, you know, because... I don't know if you remember, but obviously a way back as well. And, you know, me living here as well and representing the ESPN on the U.S. And obviously, as you said, the Premier League is just massive here, Joe. It's, it's a ridiculous growth. Remember when Manchester United played Real Madrid in Michigan? That was like 100,000 people Incredible. were in attendance. And, and it's just huge. How, how important is it for Chelsea and the Premier League to continue this relationship with American fans? Well, I believe, I believe it's... it's it's massively important. I mean, not only financially. I mean, America 20 years ago was probably the last the last part of the world that that, that to come to the party, you know, because you've got your great sports here as well, you know, American football, which likewise, you know, I love coming to watch the NFL when it comes to London. So I just think the world's getting smaller. You know, 20, 30 years ago, it started to be introduced en masse over here and the growth's been been incredible. And, 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 and to open up this 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 market, it's it, it's so important for the club because, like you said, well, you want to grow. Americans come out, like half the Premier League's owned by Americans. That's how how much you guys love the sport. You you know you you want a, you want a piece of it. Everyone wants it. The fans and I just don't think there's the excitement around games is is unparalleled. You know you come to a, a preseason friendly against Dortmund, and the, the people say the speed, the athleticism, the excitement. So I just think it's one of them. It's, it's just a mutual beneficial relationship, and um, and and we're excited. And we've seen it grow. You know, like I said, me and you both born nineteen eighty one. So you would have had first hand knowledge of the amount of people that come to games out, come to training sessions when the lad here, lads are here now is is incredible. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, you've got your very own American representation in Slonina, who obviously came from there yes. as well. So there's like that relationship as well with North American. Talent. Have you ever been to Chicago, Joe Collins? Yeah, is your first I time? actually played at Soldier Field in 2005 for England against the USA um, and lo loved it. Loved great stadium. We had a walk around there yesterday and it's one of them them sort of old stadiums that's, that you can you can feel the history in the walls. Um, and I love I, I love play. I love the new shiny stadiums as well. Don't get me wrong. They're <laughs> nice. But them, 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 old, them, them old ones where... It's particularly when there's cross sports and there's lots of history in there. And uh, I, so I've played there, I've had experience there. And, and the, the surface looked good, the pitch looked good. I just think it'd be a great day out for anybody going and any, any families that want to go. I think, and I, I think it'd be a cracking game as well. Absolutely. And let's talk about that for a second, because obviously you're playing Borussia Dortmund and obviously the American fan base knows Borussia Dortmund very well, yeah. they have their own American as well in Gio Reyna. Christian Pulisic as well was part of it, but also Jude Bellingham, an absolute yeah. star with the England setup. I mean, how important is it for both teams to really just face each other in the summer and look ahead to what's going on? Because obviously, mm -hmm. we'll talk about Chelsea's struggles in a second, but the Bundesliga as well, Borussia Dortmund trying to you yeah. know live up to the expectations of how it can compete with Bayern Munich. But it's a pretty big, a good team to face in the summer. And like you said, to end the preseason, right? Yeah, it's a cracking, a cracking game to end the preseason. 
And we could be playing against the German champions. They're still in the title race. They're an outstanding team. We spent some time with Karl-Heinz Riedler, the ex-Borussia Dortmund centre forward and German legend and, and, and the guys from, from Dortmund who are over it, you know, doing the same thing, promoting this game. And they're excited. They feel like they've got their, their, their moments away from becoming a, a real juggernaut in European football. If they can get, if they can win another Bundesliga with this group, young group, possibly keep hold of Jude Bellingham, um, which I don't think is out, out of the realms of possibility because, you know, we've seen... Jaden Sancho leave Dortmund and not quite hit the ground running straight away at Manchester United. So maybe a few more years at, at Dortmund and because and, and, they've got something special. There was two games the two clubs played against each other in the Champions League um, last 16. It was outstanding games, quality games, real high pace. So from, from Dortmund's perspective, they're bringing a lot to the party. They're a lot to the party. And Gio Reyna is, is, is a, an outstanding young American footballer. And he... Um, he, I think he's in a similar boat to Pulisic. I think no question in the ability, no question in that at all. But can, we want to see them on the pitch more. We want to see them fit and more robust because they're, they're, they're two outstanding players. And I think from American football going forward, soccer, um, you, you've got a crop of players, I think, can, can do something at the next World Cup. Yeah, I, I love it. Uh, and Joe, by the way, is reminding everybody that when he says you, he's talking to our public here, because Joe yeah. Cole, born in England, and I'm Peruvian, so I'm actually, <laughs> forget Sorry. the US for a second. Yeah. I've, got, I've got my own struggles, but Claudio Pizarro played for Chelsea, though, so yes. I'm, I'm happy about that. What a guy. What a guy. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis, and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.